Hi, let's talk about the enzyme hexokinase. The enzyme hexokinase is the first enzyme of glycolysis which converts glucose into glucose 6-phosphate using ATP. This enzyme also has the ability to phosphorylate other hexose sugars like fructose and mannose into their respective phosphorylated state. Hexokinase is a classical example of an induced fit model. The induced fit model means whenever the substrate binds with the enzyme, there is a change in the shape of the active site and the conformation of the enzyme. So when the substrate glucose and ATP binds with the enzyme, the enzyme undergoes a conformational change. And because of this conformational change, these two domains of the enzyme comes closer to one another. Once glucose and ATP are close to one another, the hydroxyl group, which is at the sixth carbon atom of glucose, reacts with the phosphate of ATP to form the final product. Now there's one more point all of you must remember. This reaction requires the presence of magnesium ions. The magnesium ions are positively charged. The positive charge of magnesium ions shields the negative charge on the oxygen attached with the phosphate of ATP. This shielding allows the reaction between the phosphate and the hydroxyl group attached with the sixth carbon atom of glucose. If magnesium ions are absent, then these negatively charged oxygen atoms will repel each other and this reaction will not occur. So magnesium ions plays a very important role in this reaction. Now you should also know the difference between hexokinase and glucokinase. The enzyme hexokinase is located in all the cells of the body whereas the enzyme glucokinase is located only in the liver cells. Hexokinase can act on all the hexose sugar whereas the enzyme glucokinase works only on glucose. The enzyme hexokinase has a low Km value whereas glucokinase has a high Km value. Now what I mean by low Km value and high Km value is that let's say these are our enzyme molecules and to this enzyme we add the substrate. So Km is a situation in which half of your enzyme molecules are occupied by the substrate. If you see this carefully then the enzyme hexokinase over here is attached with the substrate whereas these are free enzyme molecules. In a similar way the glucokinase over here is attached with the substrate and these are free glucokinase molecules. Now pay attention to this part. This that you see in here this is a situation where 50% of the enzyme molecules are bound with the substrate forming the ES complex. So in case of hexokinase you need a little amount of substrate for 50% of ES formation. Whereas in case of glucokinase 
you need a large amount of substrate to form 50% of the enzyme substrate complex. Hence, we say the Km value for hexokinase is low, whereas the Km value for glucokinase is high. This also means that hexokinase can function at very low substrate concentration, whereas the enzyme glucokinase needs high substrate concentration to function.